thought for the day. Taking care of yourself is productive. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we learn how to customize our very own self-care plan. Have a listen. Today I'm going to share with you how I created my very own self-care plan, the steps that I went through, and it's kind of like a guide that you can follow along to create your own self-care plan. I think it's very important to have one because there are certain times in life where you just feel like, you know, things are not going right, you're feeling a little sad, and you kind of need something. So this is what you can fall back on, your self-care plan. All right, so the very first thing that you should do is kind of figure out the broad categories. So there are actually a lot of categories that you can actually work on. So there are, um, you know, emotional categories, uh, physical, mental, financial, spiritual, even something like environmental. So if you want to do something for the environment, that could be one of your categories. So let's be basic. My self-care plan really only has the kind of like the three major categories. So emotional, physical, and mental. I really want to focus and concentrate on th- these three categories. They're customized to me. So even in within the broad category, there are subcategories, which would be different for everybody as well. So your self-care plan can be elaborate. It can be really, really simple. It can be anything you choose. So as long as you make sure that it's catered to your needs and your personality and kind of the direction that you want to grow in. Make sure that you don't create a plan that really stresses you out because that would just defeat the whole purpose of the plan. This is something that can help you along the way. This is something that you can do every day or every week just to kind of move yourself along in life. So once you have your category set, then start drilling down. So what's a small goal for the physical category? For example, do you want to just be fit? Do you want to be, you know, um, do you want to eat more healthy? Uh, Just kind of make a decision for which direction you're looking for in terms of your physical category and just kind of drill down that way. So for example, if I want to lose weight, then my physical um, self-care category would include things like, you know, eat more vegetables, um, maybe see a nutritionist so that they can, you know, kind of tailor my diet so that I can lose more weight. It may include an exercise regime where I can, you know, follow it maybe on a daily or weekly basis and make sure that I'm losing weight. So keep it as sort of like a guide in your back pocket when you need something to pick you up. Go to the self-care plan. Make sure, okay, am I doing these things to keep everything in check? Am I being, you know, physically healthy? Am I being emotionally, mentally healthy? Am I following the things in my subcategories? And to keep things interesting, you can always change the plan. Of course, it's your own plan, right? So maybe you've done a lot of exercise and you've been you you set it as a five time five times a week thing and now you want to scale back a little bit change it change it to three times a week maybe change the intensity of it that's all up to you so this is um, a, a living thing make sure that you are actually updating it from time to time because you know three months down the road your plan or your priorities might not be the same so once you have your plan created it's very simple just follow it and very important as well don't beat yourself up over it if you don't follow it exactly. For for example, your physical self-care. Okay, I set it up so that I would take a walk every day. Oh no, you know. I missed a walk today. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to sweat over it. So that was a really quick rundown. That was actually how I did my own self-care plan. So I do have a plan in place. It's very rough. It is always changing depending on, you know, what I feel I need. So for example, if I have been neglecting financial self-care, I will kind of rotate it in and kind of, okay, so for, you know, the next week, week or two, I'm just going to maybe do some research on financial, you know, topics on the internet and then learn more about it. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.